Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. and in this quick video tutorial we're going to look at how you can make the bolts for the new crossbow um, which is currently live on Daisy Experimental 121 and will be coming to public servers soon or maybe already is there depending on when you're watching this video. So for the crossbow there's three types of bolts. There's the normal bolt which you have to find in historical areas so that would be things like castles and castle ruins. Then there is the improvised bolt and there's two versions of it. There's the version with the feathers, which would be the best, and there's the version that's just a sharpened stick. <laughs> so <laughs> in order to make bolts, um, it's very, very easy. You're either gonna have to find long sticks in bushes or small trees, you know, or short sticks. If you find a long stick, you have to snap it in two and then get a short stick and you combine that with a knife and that will give the option to turn it into a bolt. Now, if you want to then improve that bolt with feathers, you're going to have to have killed a hen. And then when you um, cut up the hen, that will then give you feathers, which you can then combine with the bolt to make it a better bolt. And this is really exciting because it means we can make our own ammo. So let's start off, say, with a long stick. And that's, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, I get the option to split it. So I'm just going to split this stick up. It's always good, isn't it, to split one stick. Uh, let's uh, do that again. <laughs> Interrupt. Without interrupting the animation. dum de dum de dum de dum de dum There we go. And then what we should have in our hand now is a short stick. So what we can now, we can combine that with a combat knife or any sharp object you can see. Basically, I'm getting the option to craft the bolt. So let's just craft the bolt. Dum, 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 dum. There we go. And now what we should see is on the floor is an improvised bolt. So let's get rid of that one. Let's pick that one up. Now, with the bolt, what we could do is if we already had some feathers, we can combine them from our inventory, or as you can see, these feathers on the floor, just by standing there with the normal bolt bolt bolt, I can just add the feathers to it so um, let's just add some feathers to this one dum, 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 dum. there we go and what we should see now is on the floor is an improvised bolt with feathers on it how cool is that so just to show you again let's um grab the knife in fact let's drop that Let's grab the knife and let's um, skin and quarter the hen and then you should see the feathers appear as well. There we go. So now you can just about see amongst the, if my fella moves or she moves her, there we go. You can see we've got, there's some feathers, there's some bones, there's some um, breast meat and uh, there we go. So as you can see, we've got some feathers, which is pretty cool, I think, isn't it? Um, and that's about it, really. It's not very complicated at all. And that's what I think makes um, these uh, the crossbow such an exciting weapon, purely because it's a weapon that obviously will eventually um, wear out, but it means that we can have a weapon with unlimited ammo, if you like, um, because it's so easy to uh, to craft some more and although obviously the the feathered ammo or the proper bolts will be the best stuff to use the fact that you can just get some um, short sticks and turn them into a crossbow bolt really means you know I can see myself wandering around Chernerus or Livonia with a crossbow once I found one and using it to stealth kill lots of zombies as I go through areas or to stealth kill um, animals like go to go hunting and all that sort of stuff very very exciting indeed i'm so glad that they've added this weapon with the mechanics they've done um, to the game i think it adds an awful lot not just to pvpers but especially to pveers giving us a really survivalists weapon anyway that's enough from me what do you think put your questions in the comments down below and of course i'll see you again soon